Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising <clears throat> weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 3rd to September 9th 2018 so while I'm shuffling um, just to remind you guys uh, in case you are interested in a personal reading with me uh, all that you need to know is my website which is uh, listed down below in the description of uh, this video and there you can uh, find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So that being set aside, <clears throat> let's go to the tarot spread first. Let me cut the cards. And uh, the first position of the four card spreads uh, is going to uh, refer to the topic of your week, Aquarius. The second card, it is about the uh, core of the situation. The third card is uh, regarding the uh, difficulties that you will face and you have to tackle with. And the last one is about the guidance. So uh, should you follow it or not, it is entirely your choice. So let's see what you got now. Topic of the week. High Priestess, totally normal week. When the High Priestess comes as the topic, it means that... Um, First of all, uh, in the very grand scheme of things, your intuition will be um, overly sensitive, which means that you uh, you may sometimes have an answer to an issue of yours uh, without even knowing how you can how you figured out that particular answer. But in a more practical way, the High Priestess is a card of total passiveness. You will do your things and your work uh, um, and your doing into your career. Your relationship, should you find yourself in a search, it is likely to go just as ordinary as possible. So there is nothing going on there. I mean, with ups and downs, if your relationship is awesome, it will remain awesome. If your relationship isn't very good, it will remain that way for some reason. And the reason is very... Um, um, uh, it's kind of like a, a very profound because when the high priestess comes as a topic it means that um, either we or the universe is waiting for something to happen the high priestess is this prerequisite that uh, we are about to how can I place it we are about to attend into something which is going to be very valuable for us but before we do so, uh, first we have to figure out for ourselves what that thing is. And this is why the High Priestess comes in. So that is will be very beneficial week for those who are finding themselves lost uh, in a sense of what they want, how they want to do it, and uh, as well, you know, what they expect, etc., etc. People who, uh, you know, people who cannot define what path they should need to, to proceed on forward. Because the High Priestess is the prerequisite of the, not the true, but a, for a substantial part of one's taking, of one's life. And that substantial part first needs to be um, assimilated, should I say that way, by your subconscious and by your conscious. That's that is kind of superficial, but this is what the card means, uh, before actually one can comp comprehend on it and understand what one needs to um, do in order to force a significant change into their mind, in, into their life. So, this is going to be just as usual week for you, Aquarius, as possible. And the core of that situation will be the two of cups, so that will be more toward the positive end, uh, and the usualness that you are going to experience will be in there. So we do have the two of cups, and uh, if we're talking about either career or either relationship, that card speaks for a um, pleasant uh, experience with the people around you, if that makes any sense. <clears throat> Because uh, when we talk about the Two of Cups and it is about career, that speaks that uh, your co-workers there are approaching you with kindness. They're ready to help you. You know, they are not shy, nor reluctant, nor restricted to uh, to lend you a hand as well. It is uh, likely that you will have some uh, pleasant experiences together after work as well, should you co contribute for that. And this is exactly the thing which is going to calm your wavering and will allow your uh, week to go totally, totally normal without any difficulties 
without uh, you know as well um, too much exciting things and under exciting I mean more toward the passionate uh, side of the excitement so surprises it is what I mean same goes for your relationship here um, even if your relationship isn't going very well it is likely that you will again surround yourself with someone who is uh, who is relatively new into your social circle so you can get to know them better and that will ease your um, wavering here because you will kind of like see that there is someone around you who actually cares for you so kind of like you will not be able to kind of lose hope for um, your better future and that the best is yet to come that reading is all about that to believe and to have those clamorous expectations that the best is yet to come and it will come it is just you need to have a little bit more patient well quite a lot of patience to be um, to be more precise because the high priestess is very slowly developing an emerging card you know uh, it could take weeks it could take even months for you to, uh, to capitalize on what that week has to offer for you. Uh, the challenges that you need to overcome here, this is the Six of Cups, and that card only points that you may be involved into some um, enterprises or undertakings which you, are not, which you are not finding yourself very thrilled of uh, participating into, mostly career oriented. Uh, and the reason for that is because you will be more to uh, you will be more prone and leaning to, and leaning to uh, expressing yourself creatively while th those enterprises and those uh, activities there will be very strict and will have a certain code of conduct so there is no creative expression whatsoever the, there is a written rules and uh, how one things needs to be done how one of those uh, mm, undertakings needs to be done or all of those undertakings and you have to do it by the book which is also a, a property of the high priestess it has to be done by the book so you should not exert any uh, brilliant strategies here you should not try to find the warm water or to discover the warm water here the warm water is all uh, is already discovered and only thing that you need to do here is just follow the already established patterns establish it convictions as well so you can uh, kind of like fulfill your responsibilities and your duties either toward your partner into your relationship toward your friends and family or uh, toward your boss supervisor and in general career place and the guidance <clears throat> for how you can make the most out of that uh, week we do have the two of wands and what the person does the person scouts so uh, you have to scout out what should follow next I mean what will be the next challenge a challenge that you should place in front of yourself or uh, I haven't ex uh, no forget about that I did not express myself uh, appropriately it is uh, very difficult to describe the two of uh, wants as a uh, as a uh, guidance because this card urges you to uh, put your uh, put your capabilities and your knowledge to its outer limits so you can realize and you can define where your limitations lies and therefore you can place further challenges to uh, push forward your limitations uh, very close to the tree of wands but the tree of wands is the action of doing it here you're just scouting out you know you're scouting you're researching you know how much you can achieve so you can actually so you kind of aim correctly when the time comes for you to place those challenges those challenges in front of yourself so you don't overestimate your means for example or the people around you as well um, the devotion of your partner into your career the kindness of your friend etc etc very important here is that you become much more aware of where your limits and where your capabilities uh, lies and 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 how far they can go and that's why this week is going to be a rather normal week for you no ups no downs uh, so you can actually uh, reach to a that understanding by comprehending upon your environment upon the people which are involved into your situation so that week it is likely that you will understand 
the true feelings of your partner into your relationship, for example, or the true intentions of your boss toward you, should your boss give you a promotion, or should they keep you in the same place like forever, etc., etc. And accordingly to what you find out here in this particular week, it is how you will decide to manifest, you know, the expand of, uh, of your um, performance capabilities, knowledge, therefore, one will start improving and growing maybe in the same place you are right now or maybe in a different one. This week it is what you will come to understanding of. So let's see what the uh, Lenormand cards has to say for you Aquarius um, as a um, event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. All right, so the first card that we do have, that will be the path, which speaks for choosing or multiple ways to do something. Then we do have the clouds, which is the buffling point. That is either a diversion, foggy situation, you know, or a unclear goal as well is how they sit upon. And then we do have the mountains. So yeah, it does look like that you will be baffled upon a, a situation which seems um, trouble, not troublesome, but situation which is in halt, which is delayed, that is displayed by the mountain. Uh, and the, the delay isn't clear why the delay is happening. And you will kind of like try not exactly to find a way, but there will be uh, multiple ways how to tackle with it. And that's why probably this week you will decide or it is advisable for you not to take any action whatsoever. This is just the notification of it. All right. N not to take any action. Um, f uh, you know regarding it so you can mm, comprehend the uh, the upon the vagueness here and you can um, scatter the clouds and foresee the true face of the situation because this is what you will be capable of as the high priestess sits as a topic here you will have those inside that is the inner voice which is talking to you you know some people say that it is the intuition i believe that there is a difference in between them the inner voice comes as comes as a knowledge from your subconscious something that you have something that you know but because you don't you haven't used it until now it sits buried in your subconscious so that doesn't trouble your conscious with it but right now as the situation arises uh your subconscious is kind of like dug up and um, that knowledge emerges and from it without even having to support it with any arguments you can find the correct way how to tackle with those delays and you know obviously that will allow you to also scout out where you are going to grow Further. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September uh, 3rd to September 9th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you are interested again in a private reading with me, everything that you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.